I just need to figure out my car situation with mom and dad. <laughs> if you're pulled off on the side of the road far enough to where it's not gonna be an issue, oh boy. Okay, so that's the problem. The oil plug is gone. Oil all over the road as you saw. What are you doing? Putting butter on this. I made you waffles. I know, but as I told Az to get me bread with butter on it. You told him or you asked him? Giving and I said with butter. Did you well know I didn't about hear that? the I didn't hear the with butter part. <laughs> That's because you were you left. So you can't get mad at him if he didn't hear you. <laughs> he should have stayed in there for like an hour. Well, he didn't know, he had stuff to do and he didn't know that you were done talking. You weren't done talking. Canyon loves bread with butter and we will find bread left in the toaster that he meant to make and then he left. And so his bread this morning is half of a hamburger bun. <laughs> He just, he doesn't care what kind it is. He sees bread, he wants it, he'll eat it. So it doesn't matter that it's half a hamburger bun. It's just bread, he got butter on it, and he's happy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? It is time for adulting part two. We just, I guess, have to walk in and I have no clue. I have never. Uh, let's go adult. I've got Savannah with me to help me adult because yep. I didn't want to come alone. That was so nice and easy. I came to get an estimate on how much it'll cost for my car doors to be fixed. And I thought it would take forever. I was so stressed. The guy was made it so easy. He's just like, yep, let me take pictures, let me get some information, and I'll send them all the stuff. And I was like, but I was like, how long is it going to take? Because I was talking to my dad and he's like, it will probably take like three weeks to a month. And I asked the guy and he's like, probably like a week or two, two at the most. And I was like, oh, cool. Makes things easy. Yep. So I have a date down for when my car's going to get fixed. So I just need to figure out my car situation with mom and dad. <laughs> so you're you're pulled off on the side of the road far enough to where it's not gonna be an issue? Okay, perfect. I'll be there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh boy, TR just called me and said, I have a problem. The truck is busted. It stopped completely on the side of the road um, and there's liquid going everywhere. So I've gotta run out and see what's going on with the truck. He also said it's not starting at all and uh, which is good because it you shouldn't try to start a vehicle after it's leaking liquid all over the place okay so that's the problem the oil plug is gone look at that trail Chef Tommy had the oil changed in this truck about three weeks ago. And it looks like as he's coming up this hill, the oil plug literally just came out. So he's got to call, he's got a big problem on his hands, but he's got to call the people who put the oil in and change the oil in it and tell them that, uh, hey, you didn't tighten my plug up. It happens sometimes, but this, in this case, it could have ruined the whole entire motor. So, we have a big task to do now, and that is we need to unhook that trailer without it coming down this hill, unhook the truck, push the truck out of the way, hook my truck up to it, and get hooked onto that trailer without having any accident here. So, this ought to be interesting. Trailer's hooked up, and uh, we are ready to go get Chef Tommy out for business, and then uh, 
let the company know that they've got a truck up there they've got to, they've got to figure out what to do with. Rachel gave me a hot chocolate bomb yesterday, and usually, to be honest, I don't drink hot chocolate. I mean, I like it, I just don't like making it. So, we're gonna try it. I have milk, because she said it's good with milk. I gotta pour half of it in first, hold on. So you do that, and then you put it in, and then you pour it over the top of the bomb, that's what she said. And then you just let it sit, I guess. <gasps> it's moving. Oh, I didn't even touch it. It's. Squishies. Look, there's marshmallows. Oh, I can feel the chocolate at the bottom. <laughs> We're going to Disneyland for Daddy's birthday. Woo! I love Disneyland. It opens next month. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's what they say. But we can get too excited because that's only the last time they close still. So it might, depending on the numbers, it might not happen. But right now they're saying tentatively as early as. April 1st, April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. So. Yeah, that's worried. Oh. So we'll see what really happens, but. Could be a big joke. Uh, that would be a very sad joke. Disneyland is gonna open April 1st. I know! Oh, but crap. We're not the first that's, one. That's April Fool's Day. Oh, oh maybe that's a lie. That's if it's a, a lie, I'm gonna cry. It said no, as early as April 1st. As early as. We have still not figured out what we're going to do with this pool over here. Actually, look, there's some water in it. Just a little bit of water. We haven't figured out what we're gonna do with this pool yet. There are a lot of issues with it. You can see that there's even some cement that's chunked out right there. And so our options right now are to replaster it with this stuff that just keeps picking off, pulling off. Or, oh, look, a kitty. <laughs> or we put the liner back in it, or we dig up this hole and start completely from scratch. And the only way we would do that is if we were able to get rid of the hot tub here and maybe go a little bit bigger. That's still absolutely no, look at me, I'm moving around while Sarah's working. Absolutely no idea exactly what we're gonna do yet. And we can't redo this portion of the grass. It's all messed up over here. We can't redo that or any of the landscaping until we figure out what's gonna happen with this big hole in the ground. And it's getting warmer and warmer every single day. And as you guys know, our pool at home is not completely finished. Of course it's not finished. It's not finished yet. And it won't be finished for a little while. So we might get too hot here soon. <laughs> Exciting. So you're going bold. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bold as red. It won't be as bright as like the red was. Oh. I've done pink before, but that was like with a different brand. So I don't know how bright this one will be. Whenever Johnny used to color my hair, he'd say, this is the dumbest thing ever. Why doesn't someone up come up with a better idea? Better way to do this. I love coloring. <laughs> Can you show me? Oh. Sweet, I like it, dude. You have to write something back to me. Okay, hold on. Whoa, what does it say? I love you. Oh, I was reading it upside down. What does it say? I love you. I heart you. I heart you. Okay. You gotta get your jammers on. Race that run. I love you guys. He just doesn't even care that I have this on. <laughs> I've been talking to him for the last five minutes and he doesn't even care. 
I made you this. It's been out back. Oh. I love you too. Look, love you it's too. you holding a car. Oh. That one looks more like a roller skate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you say, Giga? This looks like you. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love you more than you love me. Not true. Yeah, true. Nope. Quick update on the food truck that was broke down earlier. The actual truck was broke down. Oil all over the road, as you saw. Well, uh, it was, in fact, the drain plug. And so the company who uh, did the oil change three weeks ago actually came picked up the truck picked up the keys from from t chef tommy went picked up the truck took it to their shop flushed the fluid completely went through everything checked the truck out made sure it was running fine and then called him up and said everything's good you're good to go and uh, no charge so they literally took care of everything that people is being responsible for something that you did. They didn't say, no, it wasn't us, and no, we don't know what you're talking about, and they didn't all do all the things that, um, you know, the people like you and I, you and I, like us normal people, do when we get caught, you know, maybe didn't do something we were supposed to do or did something we weren't supposed to do. And um, so I'm quite impressed with them, and um, I would say the company's name, but I don't remember who they are. But anyway, the truck is back up and going, and uh, Chef Tommy's able to do his whole full work today, and then he'll be able to get back on the road tomorrow and do his thing, and, and uh, it's very exciting. So grateful, very grateful for honest and responsible people. You and me, me and you, we can be honest, more honest, more responsible, and uh, the best way to do that is to, to be humble, to be willing to learn from, especially from our mistakes. And um, as we do so, as I do so, as you do so, we can be more responsible moving forward and I think that we can be a lot more happy. Happiness comes from being honest with yourself. And so, if you're not being honest with yourself about who you are, about what you're doing, about what your goals are, about who you want to be, about um, all of those different things, work on being more honest about those things with yourself and then you'll be able to be honest with more, be honest more with other people. And um, then you have that connection that we're looking for in life with friends, family, and, um, and the creator who made us. We love you guys. Never forget that you are worth it.